Hey guys, it's uh, Sport Talk with Gio, and today we're not going to be talking sports. Um, we're going to be talking a very serious matter, and I'm going to get right into it here. Dallas. 11. 11 officers shot. Let's, let's not say officers. Let's say 11 people. 11 fathers, mothers, shot. 11 sons, daughters, shot. 5 officers killed. Five fathers, mothers, killed. Five sons and daughters, killed. In a few weeks, at least five families are going to have to gather around a casket with an American flag on it because a man filled with hatred, I'm sorry, I do believe there's three men, three men filled with hatred decided to look down a scope and try to end their lives. And most of them didn't even go down like a man, except the one that I, they had the remote bomb that they went in there. They didn't even go down like a man. They went down like a coward and couldn't face the consequences that were ahead. They couldn't look the people dead in the eye. They couldn't look their brothers, whether it's in the police force, their brothers and sisters, or those people's kids, those people's actual wives or their actual parents or their actual brothers or sisters or uncles or cousins or nephews they couldn't look them in the eye and they couldn't justify what they did there's no justifying killing any innocent man and I'm not just saying cops here I'm saying everything there's no justification of killing men there's no justification of it and I'm not just, this isn't just the thing protecting cops, but this isn't a thing bashing cops. I want to say it's bashing humanity. Because, I'm just going to sum it up. This shit's gotten out of hand. Everyone needs to set aside. Black lives matter, all lives matter, blue lives matter, and all that shit. We need to stop separating ourselves because it's slowly becoming a civil war again in America. Baltimore was the beginning, now it's in Texas. So much hostility is in the world now, and it's a damn shame. Instead of criticizing everyone for their beliefs, just accept them. People fuck up. Everyone does. Cops do. Criminals do. Every single... If you're a human being or an animal, you fuck up. My cat fucks up. I fuck up. Instead of criticizing for everyone, everyone's beliefs, we need to come together. We need to stop the hatred. A few bad cops shouldn't represent a whole police force, just like a few criminals and gangbangers shouldn't represent an entire culture. No one deserves to die. Cops don't. Civilians don't. It's a damn shame, though, that cops who are here to protect us are more worried about having to protect themselves now because of these riots and snipers. I'm torn that people can do this. Stare at a man or multiple men and be able to end their lives, or at least attempt to end their lives. Everyone needs to stop. Because instead of everyone coming together and being... Violence isn't going to solve it. And uh, Black Lives Matter people, the, uh, I know a lot of them, they go by Martin Luther King. And they're like, Martin Luther King, we're doing what he started. Martin Luther King didn't believe in violence. He didn't believe in violence. He believed in what the people in Dallas and the people in Baltimore and the people in Ferguson and all these protests were doing. He didn't believe in killing people or inflicting violence on anyone. And it needs to stay that way. It's insane how much hatred is in this world today. coming from Dallas now pretty soon we're not gonna have any cops because there's not gonna be much people that want to go out and want to risk their lives for not even hurting anyone of course people there are always going to be people to do it and I hope there are always people to do it it takes a true man or woman to go out and do that job because no matter what you think no matter what I think they're out there to protect us, not hurt us. And we gotta stop the hate 
and this is leading to a civil war of separation so thank you guys for watching this and please stop the hate and uh, let's move on from this thanks